This is an early access game, so I'm always a little worried checking out early access games that it won't be buggy and stuff, so. A hard space shipbreaker sounds like the dude from Space Mutiny. I don't I don't know that game. Uh, also another thing is I can't change there's no options thing on this opening panel, so I can't like change audio levels and stuff, so you all will have to help me uh uh help me know if I need to change the levels and stuff. So remove shift timer, auction drain for more relaxed experience. Unlimited lives, but you work on the clock. Time is money. 30 revives for the whole campaign. Measure twice, cut once. One life, remember there's no such thing as second chances. So there's different difficulty levels, I guess. What's up, Wambambola? Only recently you noticed gifts on your account. One of them was here. Oh, nice. Uh, Space Mutiny is not a game. It's a hilariously bad movie. Okay. Well, let's just try standard. Um... And apparently there's some story to this game, so hopefully we'll learn the story and the game together here. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged. The Shipbreaker. <laughs> That's cool. The labor is extremely dangerous. But for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. They're the new underwater welders or something. Shipbreaker. Yeah, scrap and ships, man. I think that's what this game's all about. We get access to options via the escape key once you get past the intro cat. And my sound's coming in and out right now, which is awkward. It sounds very loud. Uh, can I do it now? No. Shipbreaker application. Pay the way to the Galaxy program. Update on your application status. Seems like it's really loud. Uh, congratulations on exemptions since the links paved the way to the galaxy program. Above average, exceptional physical and cognitive ability. Participation can be lucrative and rewarding. I'm going to sign a salvage station number 42. More opportunities await you. Equipment is at the sole discretion. Accident subordination will not be tolerated. On receipt of your electronic signature, our, a shuttle will be deployed. Deliver you to post. Training will commence. Okay. Enter name. I'm Rand. Call me Rand. Uh, okay. Select revival package. Standard. Uh, revival package. Spares unlimited. Spare fee 150,000. To verify or identify uh, identity, confirm the voice you file you submitted in your original application. <laughs> this is the voice of me dying in space. Perfect. Sounds good. Uh, oh. Uh, God. Do I like inverted or standard? I, on Xbox controller, I like inverted, but probably in this I went standard. Meal preference. Uh, chicken. I'm a, I'm a big chicken fan. All right. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. A, a record in the Jovian frontier is acceptable. Okay. I am not a member of and have never associated with a workers' union. Okay. I have completed my annual medical exam and been cleared of having Mikola's lung. Okay. <laughs> I have no commercial or real estate interest on Luna, in the asteroid belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. <laughs> nation state of Arizona. Uh, I, I wish. Uh, I will bring a positive attitude and problem solving mindset to work every day. Is yeah, salty count as positive? Because I can guarantee I'll be salty. Okay. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to a Vanderwall's Va field. Yes. I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zheng in the Pan American State Senate election. Cool. Good thing we're not, you know, politically motivated here. Uh, why do they specify a plastic free option? <laughs> Vile package. That's how Des built in their death situation. Yeah. Entomatarian, someone who has a plant-based diet but also eats insects, similar to a pesco-vegetarian. The girl just ate a cricket salad. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hard space shipbreaker. I like I like the uh, intro there. That was pretty funny. I will vote for your 
person. Ah, cool. Gotta love Western music in a space setting. Frickin' cowboy bebop style. It's awesome. Each day he steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. This is cool, man. I'm digging this music. I pray to the stars and heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. This is an awesome aesthetic, man. If there comes a time when he and death meet, bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Epic man. <laughs> this is what we'll be doing, I think. This is pretty badass, honestly. Uh, dead space? Sure, this is. This is what you do to the ships that ended up in dead space or something. Cool. I dig that. I dig that opening song. Super cool. It's exactly what you'll be doing. Hello, Just Cutter, nine, don't do it immediately. Slingshot yourself into the void. Okay. Your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Please All right. observe this important message. Okay. Space. Boundless promise. Limitless resources, a brighter future. It's here that hard workers like you, I'm a hard worker, the backbone of civilization, That's right. will help us pave the way to the galaxy. Well, my wife calls me the backbone. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great great grandfather, Exeter, founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. Cool. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Rail gates, huh? Now, spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its stickers life to be earned for breaking 20 meters a second, huh? <laughs> rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. Okay. You have been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is so totally a more than just a job. It's a job intro video. It's crazy. To be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. I feel like I'm being put to work, everybody. Forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors. Heed your superiors. Believe in the Lynx vision. Be a mindless this, drone. And you too will get your chance. If you do that. You First can progress. It's to join our Everwork program. The greatest gift we give our employees. Yeah, the stock smiling family at table, yeah. Ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. <laughs> Good luck. So don't worry about dying, it's gonna happen. Uh press to begin genetic extraction. Oh, all right. Video observation complete. Ouch. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. <laughs> largely. Please note, <laughs> as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. <laughs> Beginning extraction now. Destroy your original body. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ow! Ow! It hurts! Why would you do this? This is different now that Jeff Bezos went to space. <laughs> Don't worry, the two words that make you worry the most. <laughs> That's right. Please remain seated. And accept your incoming death. It is only the first of many. Alright, congratulations! It is now safe to die. 
Shipbreakers are responsible for the cost of biomaterials using the Everwork process. An additional fee is required for tests that occur outside working hours. You may now proceed with salvage training. Good luck. Wow, thanks for this intro. <laughs> Horrifying intro. Uh, lifeguard genetic backup storage. 500 million. Okay. Account balance. Negative. <laughs> One point two billion dollars. Display of fees report seven dollars fifty cents. Of course. Cool. So we start in horrible debt. Perfect. Uh, I think you can choose to skip this in any of these. I'm pretty sure Hamlo. Or you see if you skip it because you're in hardcore mode, maybe. This game is so fun. Factoid, nice. Just declare bankruptcy. It's right. It's what the billionaires do, right? Uh, we got literally a couple hundred hours in this game. Nice. Please keep your limbs within the extraction pod. We are not responsible for any missing or additional limbs. <laughs> all right, all right, breathe, breathe. You're okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. Okay, I can move and see. I can turn upside down. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the. Let me uh, let me turn the audio down just a bit. I wish they had this in the uh, in the intro here. That earlier, because I feel like it's a little loud. You all let me know audio levels. It feels loud to me, so I'm just gonna turn everything down a bit. See this and the cinematic definitely down some. There. Okay. Uh, yes, save. Controls will feel a little floaty at first. That's normal. Okay. Okay. Anyway, welcome aboard. The name's it's a Vega. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of the other shipbreakers in this region. All right, Weaver. This here's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. <laughs> purr All like right. a kitten. Let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor. And look up at that cargo elevator up above. All right. That's it. So that's where this guy's so soothing. Gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Okay, Just so bring my stuff here. You ever turn yourself out of whack. Use your roll thrusters to reorient. Okay, Q and E. All right, let's get back uh, into whack. All right. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Okay. Thrust forward. Thrust backwards. Right. Thrust left. Now, vertical control. This ain't hyperspace. Of course it's not hyperspace. <laughs> uh, C, so like crouch is that. Okay. Starting it in the red like that can cause mental instability. Hopefully this company gives you a free therapist. Yeah. Reach waypoint marker. All right. I feel very floaty. Definitely a space floaty game, that's for sure. This is loper space, yes. How do you break? Complications, okay. Almost forgot about the most important thing. Breaks. Get yourself going at a decent clip and then test them out, why don't you? I was break oh Q and E together is a break. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so Q E Q and E is break. Gotcha. This company doesn't do free, you literally pay for oxygen in this game. <laughs> wow. Cheap at, I mean, uh, totally uh, all hail Hydra. I mean, Lynx for all the stuff they do for us. All right. What's up, Flemmy? Oxygen not included, that's right. We're gonna clean this scrap up. Gonna activate the furnaces now. <laughs> That's not a good sound to hear through your. There you go. Go. Oh. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying that these things are as hot as all get out. So try not to drift into them. 
accident. <laughs> I will try not to do that. Let's get a handle on your grab. Realism immersion, a fee to show you your fees. Too real. Okay. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around. If it's not too heavy. Give it a go. Hold. And move one of these pieces into either front. So when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. Okay. So if I do this and then right click, it pulls me. Okay. Interesting. Focused push when grappled. So if I grapple this and press F, that pushes me back. Okay. So we got to use... We basically got to use uh, this to pull itself two pieces? Okay. I got to do these small pieces first, it looks like. Oh, this is crazy. You like to use side mouse buttons for down movement in space flying games? Cool. Okay. You 100% will end up in both the furnace and the process at some point. It just happens. Okay, cool. They fully expect you to end up in the furnace. There's achievements for it. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to avoid that. So if I do this and then if I do F, that'll push that there. Nice job, All right. Okay. You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. Uh, activate the scanner. Hold, hover over an object to discover more details. T. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. You have quick access ah. to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up the tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Okay. All right. Control is giving me the go-ahead to get you cut. Uh, depends on how heavy the object is. If the thing is heavy, it'll push you back. When you push F, it's light, you'll throw it away. Best way to play a 6DOF game would be a so-called space mouse. The word work and salt and safety do not belong next to another one. What? You mean salty? Uh, open tool. So cutter. Your cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's the way your crew doesn't have to yell, they're in the manly scrap wreckage. Okay. Of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero G surgery, cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. All right. That's how you do it. Okay. okay. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. And do me a favor and look towards one of them now so I can see if they activate right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. <laughs> I have no idea what's about to happen. ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of them pieces you separated right in there. Okay, well, I separated the piece. I don't know if it's going to move with me now, but okay, let's move around here. Okay. All right, this moves slowly. I don't want to, like, push it with the F. Because if I do that, I have a feeling I'm getting thrown back into something. I'm just going to kind of do that, let it go, and see if that'll go. Oops. Go, go to the left. Go this way. You can use number tools? Okay. The grabber, grabber is clearly a fun workplace decision. Okay. Can I? All right, let's try F. Okay, that worked. Well, okay. We're almost done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Aluminum chunk, huh? Now this beast is way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. You press F while you're not and grappling, it just books no the thing forward. For us to take of. Ah, okay. We're gonna have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down the side. 
Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Okay. Switch cut modes V. Now try changing the angle of the cut. Okay, rotate with right click. We're in business. Okay. I've unlocked a trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work is left to do. This thing Oh, that's cool. If I hit F, it just pushes it. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to put these... Guess I'm supposed to put these in here. All right. Oh man, this the uh, the physics of this game are crazy. All right, let's not go in the furnace. Okay. Hey, okay, I see my. Scrap training going up at the top of the screen for depositing those. Cool. First shift in the yard cutter. Let's head on over to your hab and I'll show you the ropes there. The dead space now, cutter thing is what it is? The master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you grapple something, the correct salvage shoot will be highlighted. Under your crosshair, it tells you what area the item goes in. Okay. Great first shift in the yard cutter. You just said that. Hab. Is that like my habitat where I live? Okay. My first day in the yard. Uh, I guess I could do more training, but eh, let's just go. Let's go into the actual. Get some jobs going. That's so cool. See your shadow of you coming up here. Okay. F. Yeah. All right. I'm a ship cutter. They call me cutter. All right. I learned. I earned three hundred ninety-eight thousand. I'm just a couple thousand million to go, and I'll be out of debt. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Congrats, Basic cutter. certification. Nice. I am certified. <laughs> Could sell your legs and use lead weights to have your center of mass be correct. Okay. called a ready-made, long-term employee habitation something or other. But around here, we just call it your hab. Okay. okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. <laughs> employee now, terminal, okay. caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation now. Go on and give it a read. All right, certification. What do we got? Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process, and soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out too. All right, let's start a new shift. All right. And take your first ship to work on. All right. What else we got? Scanner mode. Uh, employee financial relief program. Salvage goals. And what is this? New ship access. Do you get new... Oh, is this like new ships that you can break down or something, maybe? If you hate the CRT scan lines in the UI, that can be turned off. Okay. You'll be out of debt in no time. Or, I mean, there's no time in which you'll be out of debt. <laughs> Unread messages will occur an hourly data storage fee after 10 hours. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, they recently reworked the HAB UI and everyone hated it, so they added an option to turn it off. Okay. All right. Ship catalog. This so I... is the catalog that shows you which ships you have access to from the shipyard. Every day, you can choose to continue working on the ship you've got, or start a fresh one. Is this what we're... Go ahead and pick one. Anyone. These are what Anyone. we're getting rid of, right? Not what we're flying around in. I, I assume the ships, these are what we're... 
disassembling. Let's just start with a light cargo, I guess. The mackerel. Claiming a new ship will clear the salvage bay of your existing ship. All remaining salvage will be forfeit to Lynx. Okay. Ship catalog to pick from. What you can salvage, I guess, huh? Didn't the devs also announce that they're trying to push out 3D HAB environment ASAP? Oh, that's cool. Wow, okay. She's all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank 3. Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. <laughs> hit your certs faster that way. And start knocking out that debt of yours. <laughs> I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. Alright, so what was it? Was it V? What was the uh, T? Okay. Wow, okay. So, holy crap. Okay. They just throw you right in here to try to figure out how you're supposed to do this stuff, huh? So the yellow are things I can cut. Let's, like, start with the edge here. I think, anyway. Was it T to get out of that? So, uh, where's my cutter tool? R. Cutter. T. I think the yellow were things I could cut, right? Cut point. Okay. So I cut that. And I cut this. And a piece comes out. All right, let's get our grabber tool. This is... How do I know... Okay, so... That deposit salvage is showing me I need to take it to the blue one, I think, if I'm understanding correctly. Okay. Hold F and throw it. Yeah, okay, my little meter went up. Cool. Credits awarded, nice. I think the cutter mode, you can cut the whole place anywhere. They should invest in a scrap recovery arm. The game is cutting ships apart, moving them to furnaces and processors. I think so. Does your shift have a time limit? It does, yes, I think. Okay, uh... Let me hit T again. Can I try that cutter thing where I, like, cut this front piece off? I want to try that. So that's two. Uh, mode swap. Okay, so if I were to do like this. Now I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first, but trust me, soon enough you'll be stripping the huge gecko class freighters like they're nothing. Uh, how do I? Okay, that cutting's not working. Well, one day we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking for You can't like cut that. nanocarbon with the laser. Okay. Okay, it looks like I need to go in here and cut these pieces off. And I'm pretty sure these were cut points. Yeah, so if I do this... This. Okay. Structure titanium. Can I grab? What is? What does the orange mean? Structural. Okay. Kind of wish this guy would stop talking. I'm trying to trying to focus here, sir. Can I bring you out? Will you fit? That does not quite fit, it looks like. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's 
People who score high on this game will be the first one in space for sure. Rand's being groomed for space salvaging, that's right. You can hit the cut points with a split saw to cut them faster, but you have to be careful what else your beam touches because it can destroy stuff. Okay. So I can't bring that out the hull. Can I turn it sideways and bring it out, I wonder? Power wash simulator exists. You're guessing an office assistant simulator where you go fetch coffee is coming. Okay. All right. Can I turn this? If I do F... Whoa! Okay. Well, that flew. It did kind of turn sideways like I wanted it to, but uh, it's now stuck in there. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, cut point. How do I get this front piece off? Do I cut these yellow pieces here, maybe? Uh... Cutting tool, vote mode swap. Okay. Can you cut it in half? Oh, now that's a good idea. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. But if I just take this whole front thing off, uh, maybe I won't need to. So, I cut those. Does this thing now move, I wonder? Does this whole front piece move, maybe? The outside of the ship is what you called what? Nano fiber? Nano carbon? Does this move? That does move. Okay. Wow, that is a big old piece. Uh, can I? And I can't. And you said I can't cut nano carbon. So I just want to move this entire piece in there. Too big, just go in there and start cutting more cut points. You can take the floor and ceiling out easily. Uh, I think I can get this in there. Giggity, that's what she said. If I just start pushing it. I'm just, I'm just gonna take this big old chunky part, man. I'm gonna do it. We go big, we go home. Like Ricky Bobby. Gotta go fast. Go big. What happens if you put it in the wrong hole, Giggity? <laughs> I don't know. I should. I'm gonna hold off on testing that out yet. Should be careful not to push the ship. Maybe it can drift away for good. Uh, okay. Hopefully that won't happen. Get in there. Go. It's going. I don't want to put my body in this thing, though. That's... Okay, I think that's going to go. Maybe? Yeah, nice! Give me those credits! Uh, you eventually get better tools and your grapple gets stronger. These end pieces are a pain to move early on, but eventually you'll move them with tethers. Yeah, I've seen the tether thing. That's what I was actually wondering if I was supposed to do that. But Okay, so can I now get this out? No, all right, let's try cutting it. Two, I must do mode swap. And what is it? How do I, how do I rotate it? Right click. Okay, why is this not working? Can I not cut titanium? Um, oh, wow. Okay, that looked like that bounced off T. So I don't think I can cut that. And it somehow got stuck through here. I don't know how. Under your crosshair where it says cut level. Cut level, yes. I see a little... Three little blue dots or whatever. Does that mean I can't do it? Got the thing it's stuck in? Okay, that looks like I can cut that. Okay. I can only cut level one with the laser. Okay, well, let's... Woo! Okay. Those corner pieces, I think, were... 
and it's hard for me to tell. Okay, I just cut that. So I basically need this thing to come out. How do I get this thing to come out here? That just completely cuts that piece apart. <laughs> wow. Holy crap, this cutter tool is pretty scary. Actually, uh, so I need to get this structural piece out. Oh my god, I'm just cutting things now. Just just get a cutting, man. Okay. Alright, we're, we're going to try to cut this whole thing out here. Oh. Okay, there we go. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but that's what I'm going to attempt to do. This uh, doesn't look like that's going to work. How about we cut this? Uh, this. Whoa! <laughs> I cut something back there. That's what you mean about cutting pieces you don't mean to with this tool, I guess. Oh, I'm cutting through all sorts of pieces of this ship. This piece of ship I'm cutting out. Okay. I'm not looking at chat while I try to mess with this, so. Okay. This thing ready to move yet? I feel like maybe this can move. Bring it out. Nope, that structure will be still there. You can burn away whole panels with the other laser mode. Cut to cutter tool super scary, but it's the fastest way to cut. All right. Is this piece still attached somewhere? Okay. Well, I feel like I'm gonna leave that piece for now because uh, uh, let's just let's just look at look at other cut points here. Uh, to the that. Oh, that whole top part came off. Okay. What's the button for seeing the different modes? Scanner. So what's the difference between... Like, we got a structural point. Does that mean that needs to go in different places or something? This goes into processor. I don't know if I need to take that piece off or anything like that. Okay, that looks good. Uh, you can see the mass of everything it's attached to. Okay. Okay, cool. I think we'll get the hang of cutting soon. I'm pretty sure I just cut pieces in the middle of the ship that I should not have cut. <laughs> I think. You just that guess that just doesn't cut it. Oh, there come the puns. Perfect. Okay, all right. That one little piece in the middle I'm so worried about, but we'll eventually get to it, I guess, as we... Uh, these All these little yellow things are cut points. Seems like the best thing to do is just... Start with these guys. And you can kind of see what comes apart as you do that. Just kind of see what happens. I'm going to start cutting and see what happens. Okay. Looks like this is going to get this whole side panel to come off. Dot, dotted lines on your split saw show what your laser will cut so if the line spills on something you don't want to cut. Change how you're aiming. Okay. Being inside the piece you're about to cut out. Sounds like what you're not supposed to do in Minecraft, where you dig down into lava. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut all these. Just gonna do it. Doing it live, chat. Doing it live. Oh. Oh, this thing can overheat. Okay. Okay, so I got all those pieces. 
back out and see what's going on here. Does that mean that this whole thing separates now? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, this goes... I haven't done anything that goes in the furnace yet. I guess it's because I'm doing outer shell pieces, which go into the salvage thing, I guess. This is a mixed one? How can you tell? It's just telling me to put it into there. I don't think this is a mixed one. I wonder if it'll tell me if there's one that's got pieces for both. Nanocarbon, nanocarbon. It all looks like it's nanocarbon. Okay, that looked good. Beautiful. Very nice. So maybe this is this. Uh, yeah, okay. I see furnace over this part here. So is this part all connected? How about this? Do the little pieces? Yeah, okay. We got little pieces we can throw in there. Fling that into the furnace. Material deposited. There we go. Little chunky pieces. Uh, let's see. Oh, so do I have to cut this into smaller chunks, I guess? Oh, wait, I see some cut points there. Okay. Okay, that's still that piece that's stuck there. So is this all connected? Let's try... Let's try cutting out these, like, squares here. So two... Uh, v... Trying to get the angle right here. Okay. If I do this... Can I now grab this piece? Looks like it's X connected at the bottom here, I guess. If I go to V, nope, right click. And try to do something like this. Okay, now does this come out? I'm confused, how are you still attached? Attached on the outside somewhere here. You can stinger the structure to break out the panels. Stinger? Is that like F? Uh, that is somehow still stuck. I like maybe this piece at the edge is still stuck? Two. Right click. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. If I go... Well, bam! Fling that into there. Nice. Might, be the, might the rule be that the furnace piece can be cut as much as you want since they are going to be melted and processed. Pieces should be in chunks. Uh, maybe so. You might be right. Alright, let's see if we can get these other big outside chunks here. I got rid of all those connection points there, so I think all this will move. Will it tell me if it's mixed? I see this says processor. I'm guessing if there's ever... Will there ever be times when there's like... Some needs to go in processor and some needs to go in a furnace? I would assume it would tell me. Aluminum's pretty light. You can move it in pretty big chunks. Okay. Oh, wow. That was probably not a good idea. I, I found my true calling in life. This is what I need to be doing with life. Stop streaming, stop singing. Hey, we got a certification to level one. Cool. Uh, where's my chip that I'm breaking down here? Work simulator. I'm all turned around now. Uh, where did I go? I'm so confused. 
There it is. How did I end up way over here? I don't even know. It's right over there. I'm pointing it there. Why can't you tell? Okay. There's a mix of aluminum and anacar, but you can always separate it out one way or another. Okay. Well, my question is if it's going to tell me. If, if, like, if I'm grabbing this piece and there's some aluminum attached, will it tell me? I love the country work music going on here. I'm just going to let it fly and let it go, man. It won't tell you. Okay. Oops. So I have to hope I don't miss some pieces. Or learn learn to learn to look at it myself. Let's see the inside. Looks like that's all nanocarbon. Alright, so we got that whole side off of there. Is this a little uh, aluminum piece right here? Whoa, what? No, don't fling it apart. apart. Man, do you even do the little tiny screws too? Whoops, nope. Oh, cute. Okay, looks like some of these old pieces don't count. Those pieces you don't need to do, okay. Good news is aluminum is not worth much and some waste is inevitable. Later on you'll find ships where they are placed in an outer section of nanocarbon with a big aluminum panel. You can end up checking it all in the processor without noticing. Is this piece disconnected? It is. Okay. So the nanocarbon was what's really worth the most money, huh? I'm just going to start flinging stuff now. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we are, we are, we're moving right along, man. All right, let's see the whole big chunk here in the back here. Chunky boy. So if I move this out, are you all nanocarbon? I think you are all nanocarbon. Are you connected? Okay, looks good. That is a big, chunky boy. And you can't cut nanocarbon into smaller chunks, right? At least not until I upgrade my cutter or something, maybe. Pecking order is barge, better than processor, better than furnace. What? Or greater than, I don't know what that means. Is that the different types of ships or something? This is basically, you know, space physics simulator. <laughs> That's basically what this game is. Space physics simulator. That looks good. I think that'll go. Cool guys don't look at explosions or space floating objects as they go into their place. All right. All right, so this whole piece, this is a big old chunky thing that I need to dis disassemble on a deattach or something. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay. So let's see if I can cut this. Let's try to cut this aluminum piece here. Line kind of shows. Oh, that's a nice cut. Woo! Nice, clean cut, baby. Okay. I was way more excited about that than I probably should have been. Okay, so lining up the angle for the cut. Okay. Okay, that looks like that cut that off, I think. I'm trying to cut this piece here. That is not where I was aiming, but okay. It looks like that got that piece off there. Can you move? Oh, 
Okay, we can start getting these little pieces. Cool. I'm trying to get this big aluminum frame here. I want this whole big piece. It looks like this is not going to come out as one whole big piece. I think maybe there's a structural piece in here connecting it all. You can't chop off the nano carbon until you get explosives, but your grapple does get stronger and tether that moves stuff really easy. Cool. Okay, there's this structural piece in the middle. That's yeah, yeah. You're bringing me down, sir. You're bringing me down. How do I cut through you? I got this little piece. Yeah. There. Like that's very that's very gravity gun from Portal like or not Portal uh whatever the game that was before Portal was called Half Life. Hey, okay, cool. Getting some little pieces here. There we go. I feel like there was a timer, but I don't know if that timer... Maybe I don't have a timer for this first mission or something? I don't know. Okay, so that cuts there. Okay, does that actually free these pieces yet? No. How is this still connected? I cut that. No timer on this level. We don't get a timer till later. Good, good. Because I, I don't, I don't want to have that stress going on right now. We're not speed running this right now. Okay, I just cut that entire piece off. I don't know why these guys aren't moving. What are, what do you connect it to? This right here. Let's do mode and just do that. Okay. You can play in free mode with no time or O2. Oh, am I it? Oh God, I didn't even think about O2. One of the corners is still connected. Okay, um, let's see. This piece is free. Let's just get all these free random chunks going on here. Material deposited. I think that a part of a cut would have been the solution. A mode 2 cut. Okay. Is this right here connecting? If I do this... Hey, there we go. Okay. All right, we got a big old chunk of aluminum. Let's grab this. Okay, there we go. We got this big old chunky boy. Get on in there, chunky boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't even look. Did I do it? Wow, you can see, yeah, that goes way slow, goes up way slower. It's really the nanocarbon that matters, so. Okay, it seems like it's less and less important to get all this aluminum stuff. But I should really be spending time on the nanocarbon pieces like this, right? Like, can I, can I get this? Yeah, yeah, I see, I see how little that's worth. Okay, so that doesn't move, so if I do T... Um, it looks like I need more... Yeah, I need to get more of these cut points in the middle. So it looks like one of the first things you probably need to do is just go through getting, getting all these cut points. 
cleared out so the ship starts to just come apart. A ship like this, the little light bulbs and door panels will be worth more than the aluminum combined. Little light bulbs? What light bulbs? I don't know if I've seen any light bulbs. Are those, maybe that's inside that I haven't been to yet, that I haven't seen on the inside. When the cut points are up against nanocarbon, it's safe to split them because you won't cut through anything important. Okay. Uh, are, those, are those cut points too? I think these are cut points, aren't they? You're saying I could use the other version of the cut tool because it's faster? I think that's probably what you're telling me. But I'm, I'm doing this slow and steady right now just to get used to it. This ship doesn't have any interior stuff. It's only an empty hull. Later ships will have a lot more stuff. Okay. Start putting computers and lights in soon that you have to salvage as well. Oh, okay. I assume those are salvage and not furnace things, I would I would guess. Is it only aluminum that you're putting in the furnace? Or maybe there's later stuff that gets put in the furnace too. There we go. That should move my bar a bunch. Nice, there you go. Okay, that's disconnected. Beautiful. Let's go into the barge. What's the barge? Is the barge... Oh, are you saying it's the furnace and the barge? Okay. Is that what they called it? I didn't even notice. Oh, you know, use my face to punt stuff. Bam! I headbutt stuff into salvage. That's what I do. It's the Hulk Hogan hard-headed method of salvaging. Okay, hopefully that's good. Beautiful. We'll go this way this time. The green thing under your ship, it's not active yet. Oh, okay. I don't have, so I don't have a barge yet, huh? Maybe after I get this level 3 salvage checkpoint I'll activate. I, I guess there's unlockable things you do. Oops. Okay, looks good. Oh, don't go in there. Oh, it's pulling me in. Oh, no, it sucks you in. <laughs> it sucks you in. No, I can't get out. Latch on. Oh, I just, I'm killing myself. <laughs> I didn't know there was a suction force into this. Well, it's not the furnace, though. Does it kill me? <laughs> okay, well, damn. It was going so well. I didn't realize there was like a magnetic force thing there. You have been processed. Total value was eight dollars and fourteen cents. <laughs> Processors incompatible with organic metal uh, material. You have failed in your duties. All right. That's right. Furnace even harder to get out of the furnace hungers. Okay. Let's get back to work. Yeah, I guess I don't have to be as careful if it does if it does pull that stuff in there. <laughs> well, why would the processor kill me? If we're just like recycling, I mean if it's like you could throw computers and stuff in there, or maybe that's not where you throw computers and stuff, I don't know. Alright, there's some uh, attachment points I'm gonna need to disconnect in here, it seems like. Oh, maybe I need to cut some of this aluminum. 
Uh, let's see here. Yep, basically I took a trip to the clone bay, it sounds like. Uh, does it get in cloned cost? I think so. I think it costs a little bit of money when that happens. Okay, this piece is still connected somewhere. I need to pull this piece out. How do I... Oh, does this finally come out? No. Alright, where are you connected, sir? If I can get this piece to come out, I'll be able to get access to some of this stuff. That's off. Honestly, this looks like this should all come out here. I'm not sure why this piece right here will not move. Do structural pieces not come out? Maybe maybe this right here. Maybe this right here. Uh, get you out of the way because I'm about to do some serious cutting, man. The... Okay. Okay. How's hard space? Uh, I'm learning it. Kovacs, I'm learning. Helmet light is five. Yeah, there we go. Helmet light. I don't know if that'll help some. This little piece. I swear, I can't believe you got stuck in there like that. Oh, yeah, so far I've been processed once, yes. I mean, so if I do scanner, if this piece in the middle is not even showing up, does that mean that I care about it? I feel like I could just, like, cut this entire piece out. Myelanius, <laughs> kind of. It's worth very little, so I could just cut all this, right? If I were, like, go to... cut all this out it does we don't really care too much I think okay that's not really doing what I wanted to do just hack it to pieces is, is fine okay okay Just splitting these all apart here. Alright. Have I cleared this thing to get this piece out? Because this piece is just in the way. Hey, we did it. We did it. Okay. Not the furnace. That was aluminum. What are you talking about? Was that the wrong thing? Did I really put that in the wrong place? Whoops. Ha ha ha, crap. Uh, well, apparently I didn't see that it was telling me a different piece there. Deposit accepted. Yeah, I didn't say deposit accepted. Whoops. I just furnished a piece of something I shouldn't have, it sounds, it looks like. Zero monies. Damn it. I'm a noob. Such a noob. Well, is that what that little tiny red piece is there on the, um, on my progress bar? Oh, wow, that whole piece just came off. Okay. Okay, nice. I think that red thing might be showing me that I put the wrong piece in the wrong place. How about you cut perpendicular to the pieces? You think they'll be more effective? Ha, uh, okay. Well, I, maybe. Okay, so this sucks this in. As long as I get it going the right direction, that should be fine. Hard to see the progress bar behind the follower sub thing. Oh, great! Another game where I got to move this. Uh, one second. Okay. 
Now that we're not playing Monster Train, not as big a deal. Uh, I can keep that where I prefer to have it for FTL. Materials are positive. Okay, yeah, now you can see the red bit. Okay. That. That, okay. Go in there. Oh. Beautiful. This poor derelict ship. You can derelict my balls, Captain. I could derelict my own balls, thank you very much. You just think you're too cool for school, don't you? I've got a news flash for you, Walter Conkite. You aren't. Okay, what do we got here? We got this piece here. Alright, let's just start cutting. Just start cutting. Got a bunch of chonky pieces in here from all of my willy-nilly cutting earlier, it looks like. Earlier. Oh, I think this piece will put us over the level 3. Once I get the level 3, is it worth keep going to do the entire thing? Do you get like a bonus or... I wonder if you just... Once you get to, you get to the milestone of your good, that'll probably be good. Get a thing floating in the right direction, we'll eventually get there. Cool. Okay. There we go. Rank three. Salvage goal reach. Nice. Credit drive. Pick up. How do I pick this up? F. Okay, well, I just picked something up. Not sure what that was, but cool. Uh, it'll suck you in as you learn the hard way. Yes, now I know. Not much reason to get past level 3 unless you're going for the 98% salvage achievement. Well, I'm worried if I can even hit that now with all the cuts and the thing I put in the wrong place. But, you know, it's my first It's my first one. Let's, let's see. Let's get as much as we can. I'll get as much as I can since it's our first... It's my first time... piece there is that connected this piece is not start flinging stuff go fun with the grab gun it's cool how it kind of locks on to stuff too for you okay this hurts your brain more than other space games I've played. Why does it hurt your brain? Because of the... Are you talking about, like, motion sickness or something? Okay, we got these things. Space Engineers, I feel like, was similar to this one in the... Uh, way things moved around. Um, I went standard, but... This is the first mission after training, so I don't know... I don't know if later on I have to deal with O2 and... Uh, like a timer and stuff. I haven't had to deal with that yet, though. All realistic space games should have a very similar movement rules. Yeah, good luck with that. Every game should have the same X. That's kind of unrealistic hopefulness right there. I don't, I don't foresee that happening. Maybe from the same developer, maybe, but yeah. Oh, that's wrong. I just, that's going to be a little red piece in there. That was the wrong place. Okay, can I get this entire piece? Yeah, that's a big piece, so I think I need to cut this into smaller chunks. Let me see if I can do this. Here to the 
right click. Okay, and there's that. Kind of like cut the other side of that in half, but you know, that did what I wanted it to do. You know what? Maybe I can line this up here. Go to that other one. There we go. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> uh, I like that beam cutter. It's terrifying that I'm going to cut my arm off, but it's freaking cool. Yeah, let's go in the right direction. That should be cool. Should be good. This part separated off. That's a big chunk. This chunk is looking good. That looks good. Deposit accepted. Big chunk. Big chunk of chunky boy. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Furnace. Playing that that way. There. All these little pieces. Waste not, want not, you know. go uh that's less of a big deal than chucking the processor stuff in the furnace yeah for sure okay so what do we got in here is this okay there's different pieces here we got this piece here this processor okay this is connected i need to okay we still breaking first ship, right? Yes. Uh, when you get pulled in the processor or first next time, could you try and use the movement tool to pull yourself towards a big chunk? I did kind of try to do that, but sure. If it happens again, I'll try. The problem is the range on it's not that long, so. All right, so there's no cup points in this. If I want to separate the aluminum off from this, I think I gotta cut the aluminum off. Maybe right in here. I wanna cut the aluminum I guess you can't cut the process, uh, the nanocarbon stuff. Now how do I disconnect this? Question. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, how do I cut this off? I mean, maybe I should just cut the aluminum off and not even worry about it so I can get the processor stuff. Maybe that's the way to go. Let me go inside here and see what I can see from the inside. I'm like a, a dog with a stick trying to go through a door right now. This. That's soap processor. I uh, just chuck the whole thing in the processor. Uh, I feel like that'll kind of mess up if I do that. No, I don't think the wall counts. I don't think you can grab on the wall with this thing. I think I tried to do that. It's not like a grappling hook, but you know, we could maybe mess with it some. Okay, because this this intersection's furnace. This part's processor. So we got. I'm not sure the best way to go about cutting this. But I guess I'll start with just cutting chunks off of this and see what happens. If I go like this, what happens? Let me start cutting and see what happens. No, it's still the whole big piece there. Like, you're connected, like, right here, it looks like. So, do I need to, like, do a cut like this? Okay, all right. That looked like that kind of worked. Okay, cool. Furnace, where are you at? That way. There. Okay. 
Yeah, that's still a whole piece there. Remember grabbing onto a walk or ceiling or something and slingshot yourself to the habitat, whatever it's called. Or wall, you mean? Okay. So I think it's... This right here looks like it's connecting that to that. So if I do cutter B this, does that cut that entire piece? Okay, all right. So that's look, that looks like the glue that's sticking this together. So if I get that bar out of the way, I think I can get these pieces separated where I need them to go. It's not a, as clear of a connector piece, but that's kind of what it's looking like that is. It's pretty cool the way that melts away too. Okay, did I separate this piece out? Nice, okay. Cool, man. Uh, it's pretty satisfying getting these little... You know, it's like deconstructing a Lego ship or something. Okay. Material so let's do the same thing on this side, which was... Where's that piece? This piece right here, I think. That there. And is there one in here, right? There, I think. Might be kind of hard for you all to see. There's a little bar I just cut out. Okay. Let's see. Is there other? Are there other bars I can do that to here? This piece right here is connected to this nanofiber piece. So I want to cut this. Kind of like this. Uh, the range on the grapple is basically infinite. You can grab the walls and pull yourself along. It will save you tons of fuel in the future. Oh, okay. All right. So it is infinite. Well, then I was wrong. Okay. Well, something came out there. I'm probably being overly meticulous, but since I don't have a time limit on this first one, this is I feel like this is good practice to get a feel for how to disassemble some pieces. So you're saying I missed a little bar somewhere that's should separate this out. Let me see here. Alright, I can get this piece out nice. There we go. Okay. Still trying to disconnect this middle part. The structure bit should show up on the scanner. So if I cut... Oh, like, okay, these little... This little kind of blue rectangle right here, if I cut that out, that might separate. But that's inside of there, so I don't know how to get to that, actually. Unless I can see it through here. Okay, is it this? Uh, v? That little bar right there? Haha, -ha, I got it! Whoa! I found the piece keeping that all in place. Okay. We hit the magic destructo button. Okay, I won't say that's good. Oh man, where did all the... It's flying away. Where'd it go? Okay, it's over here. Okay. Nice. Oh god. I'm flying really close to this salvage thing. To the, the furnace. Don't fly in there. Okay, we still have a couple pieces. I want to get in the right place here, because we're going to have a pretty good... I don't think I'm going to get the 98% or whatever, but... Uh, let's see, is there another... Okay, so I think this this little bar right here... You give me access to this piece, nice. Cool. Alright. 
Oh god, this thing's getting close to the furnace. Can we move you away from the furnace, please? Okay. Let's up such a psychic explosion won't tank you one day. What? I feel like you're really messing up your typing, because I think you meant to say, let's hope. I don't, I don't, I don't understand half of what you're saying. Sorry, Flemmy. Okay, there we go. All right, how much is left in here? That's aluminum. Okay, processor. I think, uh, did we get all the main aluminum stuff out? Oh, I saw something that said aluminum. Where is it? Or, uh, that said... Furnace. Which... This middles? What is it, this glass? Oh. Glass. Um, is glass important to separate out? Can I even get that glass? I don't know if I can even cut that out or not. Should I worry about that? Because the glass is a connected to the nanocarbon. You can cut it out, but it's not worth much. Well, I mean, let's just try that. Uh, whoops. Uh, this. Pretty sure you can't cut the nanocarbon, so... We do this. That. That. See if we can cut this entire thing out in one piece. Be the goal. This looks like it's probably not worth it, but again, just kind of experimenting. Okay. Nope, I didn't get it all cut. What's still connected? Is it, like, blocked, I wonder? Let me go to the other side. Okay, it's still considered one whole piece. How do I cut the rest of this? I think there might be a little piece in here. Two... Oh, I see one piece that came out, I think. Hey, there we go. Okay. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Okay, that's still connected. Let's see if I can see the piece of glass. Still connecting it. Maybe this bottom part right here. There we go. Nice. All right, we even got a little bit of glass. Okay. There might be a little tiny bits of glass in there, but we'll, we'll call that good. Throw us in the processor and see see what we got. Nice to see just such chunky glass on a ship. Uh, the connected ch check on the glass tends to be finicky. Yeah. Looked a little, a little funky. Okay. All right, throw this in, but not follow it in. All right, let's GG cookie time this first thing when we get it. See how much we get. <laughs> it actually took a pretty long time just to get that thing fully salvaged. You're going to go in there? Processing valuable object. Nice, look at that. Cool. GG for cookie time, our certification three thing. Not bad. Man, this cookie tastes really good this morning. You know, a hard day's work deserves rewarding yourself. Some little bits floating about.
Honestly, they're so small, I'm not going to worry about it. I need to get better and more precise with my cuts to avoid probably uh, as much stuff. But we almost completely finished that, so we'll call that good. Oh, man. All right, all right. Let me see. Let me see. Where? Where? I can't move. Now I'm stuck. What? I can't actually move now. What the hell? Tab. Uh, did I just bug the game by saying go home and then didn't go home? Oh my god, what's happening right now? <sighs> like, I can't go out there. I can't hit F. Are you going to tell me that I just lost that hour of work? You got to be kidding me right now. You got to be kidding me with this. What what is this? Uh Yeah, I see I get feedback. Um I don't, I don't know even know what to put. Alt tab horror worked for you before. Alt tab. That's like I don't have. It's like I'm outside, but not outside. I am so confused. I am alt tabbing. This is what I'm doing. This is alt tab. Uh. You've never seen this bug? Okay. Well, then how do I submit it? How do I submit this bug? S stuck between shift and what? what is the inside screen called? Um, and hub. I canceled going into... The hub, after finishing the shift, and got stuck in limbo between the two, two what, modes. Stuck outside the ship, unable to enter hub. All right. We'll do that. He said alt enter. What does that do? Yeah, that just makes it not full screen. Do I really have to abandon shift after I did all that crap? Uh, yes, blame chat for wanting me to get the little tiny pieces. Oh, Jesus. This is such a strange thing. Like, this is... Why is this even a thing here? <sighs> All progress will be lost. Wonderful. Uh, how do I continue what I was doing? There's no restart the game. I mean, there's no mid-shift thing there, I don't think. Continue. No ship in bay. Okay. Well, I don't want to do the same one over, so let's do some other one. God, I lost all... I did like, it took an hour. And then because... Because I did not go into the thing, I lost all of that work. Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say screw tiny pieces. The tiny pieces are not worth losing an hour worth of work. Because of the freaking buggy game. I know, I did all that work and didn't even get freaking paid, man. Alright, well, we gotta do this again with a different ship, but now at least I know how to do it, so hopefully I can do it quicker. This looks like the same ship. Okay. This looks basically the same as the one I previously did. Okay. This. 
Well, now we hopefully won't throw those little wrong those pieces into the wrong place again. Processor, and I know I can just kind of fling this that way. Okay. We'll learn how to do this quicker too. And we're going to not kill ourselves over this piece floating around in here while we just get all these connector pieces out. Speed. Time to speed salvage. Okay. You think this is an accurate presentation of the universe as we've seen it so far? All tutorial mackerels are basically the same. What does that mean? Oh, are you talking about these ships are all basically the same? Okay. All right, so we got pieces floating freely, which is what we want to see, so we can throw them where we want them to go. This part disconnected yet? Yeah, no, but this part is. Okay. Is that what these ship types are called? Mackerels or something? Ha! Huh, and now I can get this piece out a lot easier this time. Alright. Getting those cut points. Nope. Nope. Come back! Nope! Okay. <laughs> Trying to go too fast. Put that in the right one this time, right? I think I did. Uh, by the way, you're working on reworking your latest ship. Nice. Cool, Vega. All right, is this, uh, is this all one big piece? Is there aluminum in this piece? Now, I, know these ships I don't look think so. You know it. Okay, I think that'll eventually go in there. Is it a world record when you're in space? It's a space record. Uh, world record is currently something like 15.4 million in a 15-minute shift on a heavy cargo gecko. Oh, what this guy's actually talking about. Tell you what. There are three ship types in the game right now. The small ones are mackerels, and there's javelins, which are like big industrial ships. The geckos, which are like really big mackerels. There are many variants and configurations of each. Okay, cool. Seems like the way to do this quickly is just to first get all these cup points out. All these, if that's what these are called, yeah, cup points. So things can start moving. Moving and grooving. Okay, cool. So a lot of this side of the ship, as I think, separated. Cool. go uh, you can split saw these three or four at a time oh the little cut points too okay I'm not gonna do that yet because again I'm a little worried about hitting other pieces of aluminum that I'll screw it up but yeah I'll... apparently aluminum's not worth enough for that to probably be in a consideration as you get further in I guess Games. 
All right. Beautiful. We're flying through this now. We're leet salvage scrapper operator people now. Don't get cocky, kid. Okay, that looks good. Okay. All right, let's get the other side now here. Get all these cut points here. First you skin it, then you pick the inner hole, clean the valuables, then you chuck the aluminum bones in the furnace. All right, well, let's, let's try this cutter thing that you said. So if I do this, this. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, here we go. So you can get... I don't know, maybe there's a way to get all of them at once or something. Whoops. V. I can definitely see how that's a lot faster, for sure. What's up, Logitechno? You're new here? Caught some of the YouTube FTL stuff? You thought I'd stop by and say, awesome! It's awesome. Appreciate that. Well, welcome. Glad you've uh, been enjoying the YouTube videos. I just got back from a week vacation, so... I'll have some new YouTube stuff tomorrow since I, uh... Uh... Did some viewerships yesterday, so glad to have you here, Logitech. No, and appreciate the the positivity is always appreciated. Yeah, okay, we'll say that's good. My range on the range on the saw is limited now. Eventually, it goes forever. Ah, okay. Hey, thank you for the prime sub too. Appreciate that, my friend. That's awesome. Thank you for the follow. The follow and the sub. That's that's the perfect way to join the stream. Gotta love it. Appreciate that, my friend. Okay, that should be good. Currently, you're testing the layout B, and you do have to say a missile setup isn't that bad with a boarding ship. Is that connected? Uh, no, it's moving. Okay. Slowly. There it goes. Hey, what's up, silly hat man? You heard this game needs a beefy PC to run? Really? I mean, my PC is pretty good, but... I wouldn't say it's like... All that impressive spec-wise. I think you can look at my specs. Uh, I think there's a link below that shows the specs. Because I built... I actually built this on, on stream. I built my streaming PC on stream way back when, when I upgraded years ago. Hey, what's up, PPR Lie? Thanks for the bits. You know I've been playing fact. You know I played Factorio, but have I tried it at Satisfactory? Oh yes, Satisfactory is probably like fourth or fifth of my, on my list of games played most hours on on stream. I have a couple different Satisfactory playthroughs on YouTube, and I plan on playing it again. My la the problem was the last Satisfactory stream I had ended with. Um, Losing about six hours of work, four to six hours of work, because Epic Game Store sucks. So, um, next time I play it, I'm going to start a save using Steam. So I don't lose lose a bunch of playtime because of uh, Epic Game Store's stupid autosave feature. Yeah, Epic Game Store trolled me. Here I lost one hour of work. True. True. I did lose an hour of work on this one. But it wasn't 60 hours into a playthrough, so it's, I'm not quite as salty. <laughs> All right, so how do I get this piece out? Uh, so it's these old structure pieces here, right? Cutting those, I think, lets me separate some pieces out. What? Salvage destroyed. Is it because I'm cutting these bars out? Oops. Oh, I think I threw one little piece into the wrong thing again. Please revisit your training. 
You revisit your training. I mean, sorry. Sorry about that. You repurchased uh, Satisfactor on Steam as well, yeah. You got it on Steam. Well, you chose you chose correctly then. Because Epic Game Store... I think I got it originally on Epic Game Store because... Um, originally, that's all it was available on. I've honestly played it a couple of times, so... Uh, started to play through, like... Two major playthroughs, I think, I've, what I've done so far on Satisfactory. Burning whole lunar panels gives you that warning. Okay, so it's it's what I'm doing now, huh? Uh, okay, let me just try to cut this maybe. not I was wanting this whole piece to come off it's not quite coming off like I wanted to okay this little piece right in here I swear getting these aluminum panels to disconnect is the hardest part for me you can grapple that door that's in the middle of the panel separated from the surrounding aluminum. This one? Ah, okay, so that one comes off. Okay, cool. Alright, call that good. Okay, hey, now I see something moving. Okay, the small piece, but... Oh, hey, you! Go in there. You, go in there. Are you a piece? Yep, go in there. I'm trying to get all the little pieces this time, so I don't leave the, you know, penny saved as a penny earned or whatever. Okay, what about this? Oh. Hey, now. Like this. Ah, I see, I see. So, so can I do uh, this? Instead of cutting that whole panel. There we go. That's probably the better way so you're not cutting the whole panel apart. The whole bar. Okay. How's that? There we go. That's what I need to be doing. I need to use that cut tool correctly. Good. Good. Ah! Don't ram me. There we go. That should be good. Uh, I discovered the tow truck bug. You can use small pieces to move pieces. Okay. Okay. Nope, we got a couple of cut points in here. Oh. Okay, that was not the one I was looking at. <laughs> Just shooting a cutting laser randomly. Probably not the best plan. a cut point or two all right I'm gonna do this uh, this way just so I'm not cutting giant chunks off here do that 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 
guys. There we go. And so to move out of here. Oh, I can just. <laughs> now this is open. I could just push it apart. Nice. Okay. The willy nilly and throwing willy nilly throwing stuff around now. Okay, this is this okay, this is that big chunk I had a hard time with earlier. Nice. Beautiful. Uh Maybe slow down a tiny bit to avoid flying in the hot stuff. Like I said, gotta go fast. Okay, this entire piece is furnace, so I think we can go this way. No slowing down. No rest for the... You know there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. You know that song? That's what this game is all about. Okay, and I'm going to not worry about these little tiny screws and bits here. Except maybe this little tiny piece right here. Okay, so this is where we got all the aluminum. This is the hard piece that we had a hard time getting through here. So how how did we separate it? There were um, some structural points on the inside I think we got. Borderlands, love that intro. Uh, yeah, it's um, uh, Cage the Elephant. It's a great band. Okay, that bar. Oh, no. That bar right there. Okay. See if I can get these little skinny bars in the middle to help separate this out. I, don't, I must not have held this one long enough. There it is. Okay. And that guy there, and that guy there. Good. Cool. There's little structural bars, pretty much, that were eking out to separate the aluminum from the uh, nano carbon. Hey! When that happens, you know you hit the jackpot. I think I actually missed one, but. Beautiful. Okay, let's see here. What's still connected? You're still all connected, so I think there was one more bar right here. That brings you out, beautiful. Oh, oh, you're stuck, though. Come on. Come on. Come on out of there. There you go. Do I play uh, Borderlands? I, I did way back when. It's been years since I've actually played any of the Borderlands games. They're good games, but I just don't play shooters that much anymore. My friend Tim loved it, so I would play for a while, but... Ever since I started streaming, there's just a lot of games I haven't played for a long time. All right, so it looks like it's all processor except that glass. Do I care about that glass again? Uh, you know what? Sure, let's freaking do it. Let's do it. To the let's try to min-max this thing here. Okay. <laughs> and also, it's just fun to cut with this laser. It's terrifying and super fun. Okay, did that get this piece? No, no. This is the finicky connection. Let's see where we're still connected here. 
Uh, I'll see, is it somewhere? It might be on this little bottom piece right here. Can that do it? No. Okay, this top piece maybe. Oh, okay. Okay, well, there is a piece of glass out of there. Okay, let's get the one piece got separated out here. Okay. It's probably not worth the time to do that, but again, hopefully this will be my first fully salvaged thing and I can learn what's worth and what's not worth. Okay, where is it still connected? It looks like it might be on the bottom here. There we go. Actually, that piece is not <laughs> separated off yet either, but almost. Okay, whoops. Yeah, that piece right there. Where are you connected? How the hell are you still connected? You're not connected. Gotta be at the top here. That do it, and that did it. Beautiful. All right, get this big old chunk, chunk of doodle doo, and we're gonna call that good. And not worry about all the little tiny pieces that might be floating off into space. Glass is worth a lot per kilogram. It's totally worth. Oh, okay. All right. What does this get me, i.e. upgrades? Um, yeah, I think, I mean, this is this is an early access game, so I don't know how much content there is, but you see that bar at the top of the screen? That is a, kind of a progress indicator. So we're filling it up. We pretty much, pretty much uh, salvage this whole thing. We get money, and then I think we're gonna unlock Upgrades to our tools and stuff. Uh, I believe. Uh, but this is the first time we've gotten this... We've finished one. And this time I'm going to not... Can I save? There's no save. Okay. Alright, this time we don't cancel. We just go right into the hub and don't screw ourselves up of... This time only about 20 or 30 minutes of work. We did a lot faster, I will say, so... Okay, this is the danger zone right here. Enter. Yes. So don't hit tab no or else you're stuck. All right. I destroyed a little bit of aluminum mounts. I destroyed a nanocarbon. Well, I didn't mean to do that. But all right, 108 or eight, 818,000. Cool. New rank three. The glass is about 30% of the entire rest of the chunk. Oh, was it really? Okay, that was worth a good amount then. Reaching your salvage goals, you get Lynx tokens. Those let you upgrade your gear. Once you get the third milestone marker, you usually move on to the next ship. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to try to do. Ship Class 2 certification. Maybe that unlocks new ships that we can go, uh, go for. Looking you earn ranks better. for salvaging, which gives you access to more ships. Cool. Ship. Unread messages. Okay. Unread messages will occur in an hourly debt storage fee after 10 days. <laughs> All right. Let's read our unread mail. Uh, One-stop shop, links kiosk for all your shipbreaking needs. Items, any self-respecting shipbreaker wouldn't leave the hab without. Hab, not hub. Whoops. Uh, oxygen tanks. Okay. I haven't had to deal with oxygen yet, so... Is that going to start being an issue now? Hazards fire. Uh, committed to ensuring shipbreakers are exposed to hazard levels and ships only according to their proficiency level. And median em estimated emotional adjustment time should death occur related to these hazards. May begin to encounter fire hazards in the form of fuel or flaming objects. Okay, does that mean I need a fire extinguisher? Okay. Um... Uh, okay, the nanocarbon you destroyed was from the top panel you threw in the processor. The panel was aluminum, but it has a nanocarbon crossbar in the center. You can separate the two with a couple split cell cuts. All right, so it's, it's one of those mixed pieces I missed. All righty, my friends. Well, we've been going for about two hours, so before we do our next shift, 
and maybe do another ship and I don't know, maybe we can look at certifications and uh, stuff that I can lo unlock. I guess equipment is still grayed out. Uh, before we do that, I am the Sam Church Use Restroom. So thank you all so much for watching. If there's anybody new to the stream, hope you're having a good time. Hope you to hit the follow. Quick 60-second break. We come back, we'll do another ship. Shift. <laughs> Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs>